Well, praise the Lord, my beloved brothers and sisters in Facebook Live Land. I feel so blessed to have opportunity to come and share with you on this glorious day. This is a marvelous day which the Lord has made this Monday. I will rejoice, have been rejoicing, will continue to rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it and give him glory. You know, since I was a young teen, about age 13, when I convinced a gentleman who managed a little fast food restaurant called um, uh, Long John Silver Seafood Shop, <laughs> I don't know how I convinced the guy to give me a job, but I always remember people on Monday saying, oh, God, it's Monday. Man, listen, Monday is a day the Lord has made. And regardless of what's the common corporate uh, lingo or fad or what people say, Monday is a day to rejoice and be exceeding glad. Monday is a day of your victory. Glory to God. So don't you buy into it. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. We want to just give a few minutes, give others opportunity to uh, chime in. And if you don't mind, maybe you could just write a few words and say, uh, hello, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, let me know you're praying for me. Amen. Glory to God. It's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to be able to share one of my joys. As you probably can tell by now, I love empowering, empowering, pardon me, the church, the Christian, the people of God, people who just desire to do well in life. I love encouraging people. I love to push people in, in, in a positive way. And I love to uh, build people up. Glory to God. I love to uh, cause people to see the greatness in themselves. I, I love to uh, cause individuals to know that the God we serve is not somewhere off in the cosmos. You know, he wasn't a coward God that uh, sissied out on us and packed up and moved out. No, God is very present help in the time of trouble. He's very near, closer than the mention of his name. And I love to and enjoy uh, encouraging people to believe God, to take confidence in his word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To know that God, God is faithful and will perform what he promised. And he will not forsake you. He will not uh he will not leave you and he will not let you fall and neither will. He. So God is not the kind that's going to get you out on a limb. Glory to God. And then he's going to walk off and leave you. All right. I'm going to take a few more minutes and just exhort you while some are joining in with us. Glory to God. Tell your friends, click and uh, uh, save, click, click and, and share. Glory to God. And just let your friends know, come in and just. Just listen to our brother share a word of encouragement. Glory to God in my shando to the my see Hallelujah. Just encourage your friends, encourage your loved ones, encourage your your, your road dog, your roadie, your your die, ride or die. Encourage them to come in and listen and hear a word. And because I believe God's going to say something to a pragmatic that I believe will bless you. And, encourage your heart thank you thank you thank you i saw that i saw that little like amen some hearts of love hallelujah i need your love and your prayers i need your encouragement hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah this is my joy this is the joy of my life this is my life purpose glory to god to empower the people of god i know it my god i've known it since a child i haven't always known how to go about it i haven't known how to go forward, but God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, took over, commandeered me, hallelujah, for his glory and for his praise. Well, praise the Lord, I guess we spent a, enough time, I'm going to take one more minute, and we're going to go right into the meat of the message, amen, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, wonderful Savior, hallelujah, wonderful Master, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. There's a song I just want to sing a piece of the chorus. Uh, many of you might know it. It's old school. Went something like, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? We have a God that will walk with you talk with you hallelujah sit down with you glory to god go through the hard test with you 
Go in celebration with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'll never leave you. Never forsake you. Won't fail you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And guess what? Not ashamed of you. You know, when you go through things in life, my beloved brother, my beloved sister, some folk will become ashamed of you. Glory to God. You know, some of you know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I know I got some witnesses out there listening to me. My God, today, everything is all right as long as you hide. My God, today, everything is all right as long as you're on the mountaintop. Everything is all right as long as things are hitting on all cylinders. But boy, if you go through something, folk will show you their true colors, won't they? I mean, they'll walk out on you, folk uh, uh, say, well, you know, I'm still here for you. I'll always love you, but they'll be ashamed of you. You kind of tell people, you know, they just don't act the same. They act a little removed, a little distant from you, amen. But the Lord will never leave us. He'll never forsake us and he won't fail us, amen. Glory to God. He's not a fair weather friend, glory to God. He's there whether you're up, he's there whether you're down. Glory to God. I love him. Hallelujah. I love him. Can't nobody, baby, do you like Jesus. Nobody. Nobody, nobody, glory to God, can do you like the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he'll be there. Well, I pray. praise the Lord. Well, uh, let's just go right on it. to the word amen uh for today he's reading is going to be in the book of exodus chapter number 40 which is the last chapter of exodus chapter number 40 i'm going to read in your hearing verses 35 through exodus chapter number 40 verses 35 through 38 i am of course reading message i I just want to take time to honor the protocol orders. I do give reverence to Almighty God, the head of the living God all over the world. I love you because you love Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I love and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud ab abode thereon. And the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up. Watch it. Final verse. For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. Praise the Lord. We want to talk to you for a few minutes from a subject and a thought everywhere you go. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go. I think I'm getting ready to turn the table on the enemy. You know, when I was a young boy, they used to sing a song in church. Some of y'all might remember it. Everywhere you go, there is trouble, there is trouble. Everywhere you go, there is strife, there is strife. Everywhere you go, don't let nothing worry you. Just remember the Lord is standing by. Listen, we need to remind ourselves that God is standing by at all times. Amen. So we're going to talk about everywhere you go. That's what we're going to talk about for the next few minutes. Everywhere you go. Glory to God. One passage of scripture tells us that all the shields of the earth belong to God. When he says all the shields of the earth belong to God, that means covering and protection everywhere you go. It doesn't matter. Listen, it doesn't matter. Whether you go in emotionally, whether you go in mentally, whether you go in spiritually you went in physically everywhere you go the shields of the lord are there and they belong to him hallelujah and beloved because you belong to him my god today those shields of protection belong to you i'm saying to you today i'm simply telling you that you don't need to fear i know that there's turmoil everywhere i know easy i know that in this day and time just unthinkable uh, unheard of 
uh, uh, things are occurring all across this country of the United States of America. It's in every way you go, beloved, you need to know that the Lord is standing by. I want to just tap into a little passage of scripture where the Lord dealt with Moses. See, because, listen, when God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, it seemed like they would have had a mindset to say, you know what, the Lord already brought me out of Egypt, and if he did this hard, incredible thing for me, then this new thing that's coming up before me, he got that. He can handle it. Glory to God. But because of our humanity, because of the human psychic, because of the way that the mind works, because of the atmosphere of our nature, it's so easy sometimes to wonder, glory to God, Lord, are you still there? I can hear some of you saying, Lord, are you still there? My God today, but I want to encourage you today, my beloved brother, my beloved sister, that listen, the Lord delivered you. And listen, one songwriter said, he didn't bring me this far to leave me. Can I get a witness? Glory to God. He did not bring me this far to leave me. And I'm going to add the word now. He didn't bring me out to bring to leave me now. In other words, some of the folk asked Moses when they came out of Egypt. They said, what, you brought us in the wilderness so we could die? So you didn't have enough graves in Egypt? You, you brought us out here so we could be destroyed? That's the doubters and the complainers and uh, of the, the murmurers. But don't you become a doubter. Don't let your... Uh, uh, it, it's temporary, beloved. You, you treat it like it's temporary. Don't treat it like it's eternal. Glory to God. Where you go, God's got you. Now, that's the old Ebonic slang term that means God is there for you and will not fail you. Amen. Glory to God. Watch the word of the Lord. The Bible said, then a cloud covered the tent. When it says, a oh, just fill a buck every now and then, you know. I, I, I'm not talking about a cloud that when it covers, you know, you just pat your feet a little bit. Or you just wave and nod your head rock your shoulders i'm not talking about but when this cloud covered we're talking about that shekinah glory of god what is the shekinah glory of the lord i'm talking about that presence of the lord that comes in to dominate your situation glory to god i'm talking about that presence that comes in to paralyze satan my god today glory to god that kind of glory the bible said when the cloud my god today covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. We're talking about that kind of glory and presence of the Lord that caused, my God, your human body to be filled. That caused your pattern of thoughts to be filled. Have you ever been caught up like that? Have you ever had an experience where the presence of God come in so strong that you can't think of nothing? You can't desire anything. You can't look after anything except the presence where you are. Glory to God. That's why uh, I've heard it said many times over my lifetime when people pass on that are sanctified, that are saved, that have been filled with the Holy Ghost, the people that have been washed in the blood of Jesus and have a real genuine relationship with God. Man, I heard old, old preachers say many years ago my pastor used to say boy if you could get a telephone call into heaven right now and tell your mama your daddy or your uncle or your auntie your grandmother or whoever went on my god today before you that was born again you tell them oh come on go back here my god they could have been dirt poor on this side of life. But boy, if they got to heaven in the presence of the Lord, you couldn't pay them enough money to come back out of that presence. Have you ever been just called up in the presence? of the Lord where you just feel my God today is it possible for anything to go wrong glory to God 
This is the kind of glory that came up on the tent for Israel. And this is the kind of glory. That's coming back up on the body of Christ in these last days. Glory to God. Don't you get deterred don't you get too disturbed don't you get too a uh, uh, detour don't you become dismayed don't you become a dysfunctional don't you become disconnected from the body don't you become too discouraged listen don't listen you need to understand something god will not Glory to God. He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. And he will not fail us. I wish I had somebody praying with me. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to move Move on here. I'm getting ready to move on here. The cloud came. Glory to God. And the cloud was so mighty that it filled all of the tent. Isn't that make, doesn't that make you think about Pentecost? Glory to God. When the Bible says suddenly, my God, a sound like a mighty rushing wind came in and filled all the house where they were sitting, coming up on his people. Expect the glory of God to come in. Expect the glory of God to come in. When you get in a difficult situation, I want you to begin to expect the glory of God, a, a, a test, a trial a trivial thing. I want you to expect the glory of God to come in. When you get to whatever you're dealing with, it seems like it's beyond your human strength, beyond your human ability to figure it out. I want you to expect the glory of God to come in. My dad used to say to me, he used to say, son, God's extreme, man's extremities, pardon me, are God's opportunity. Let me say that again. My dad used to say to me, son, a man's extremities are God's opportunities. I, listen, my beloved brother, my beloved sister, I want you from this very day forward, whatever you deal with, it seems to be impossible. Whatever you deal with, it seems to be really hard, really hurtful, really harmful. Whatever you, my God, they seem it doesn't make any sense I want you to expect the glory and presence of God to come in my God in verse number 35 the Bible says and Moses is Hallelujah, was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation. That's what I'm hungering for today. I don't know about you, but that's what I hunger for today. Glory to God. What are you talking about, Apostle Thompson? I hunger for the time and the moment when the Holy Ghost will cause the Shekinah glory of God to fall in the church and we can't have church as usual for we're living in such unusual time I hunger and I thirst to see the power of God fall my God today on the churches Holy ability we can't be so uh, my God today I'm hungering and thirsting for the time which the power of God come in and people that came in on it last leg my god i leave out walking on both legs glory to god hallelujah i hunger and thirst for the time that the glory of god god hit the house that the preacher can't just come with his little sermon his little three points his rhyme and his riddle glory to god i hunger and i thirst for the time that the glory of God will come in the house glory to God that the preacher can't just conduct business as usual for the presence of the Lord to be so thick in the house everywhere that people will be just weeping 
and wailing and just calling on the name of Jesus, Yahshua, Joshua. Glory to God, Yahweh, Elohim, El Shaddai, Adonai, Jehovah, hallelujah, I am that I am, glory to God. The Bible said Moses couldn't enter the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode there listen this is what you want this is a great key for christians and this is why some uh we push so hard for you to sanctify yourselves it's not people picking at you people uh, uh trying to dictate to you trying to control you as some would think folk uh pastors that are feed you with knowledge and understanding what the pastors are doing is trial to to set yourself in a posture and in a position glory to god to come and take control amen if they were ever to take control it's right now glory to god now this is what i want us to see here the bible said that the cloud abode there this is what the holy ghost wants to come and live with you hallelujah he don't want to just come and move you he wants to come and live on the inside of you he doesn't like you he wants to come and live on the inside of you he doesn't want to just come and convict you to come and live on the inside of you the holy ghost does only want to come and fill you till you overflow he wants to come and live on the inside of you the holy ghost my god today desire way it was always god's manner it was always god intent it was god's purpose toward us hallelujah that the holy ghost would come and rest let me give you a reminder in the book of Genesis, with the story of Noah in the ark, the Bible said that Noah, my God, that they sent out a raven, and the raven, my God, that they came. With some torn flesh, but the Bible said that he sent out the dove a couple of times, twice I think it was, and the dove returned because she couldn't find nowhere to rest her feet, glory to God. That's what the Holy Ghost is looking for, a place to rest his feet. Can he rest his feet in you? Glory to God. Can the Holy Ghost walk in your life? Hallelujah. Can the Holy Ghost walk in your business? Hallelujah. Can the Holy Ghost walk in your church? Glory to God. Can the Holy Ghost walk in your house? Hallelujah. Can the Holy Ghost walk in your marriage? Glory to God. Can the Holy Ghost walk with you on your job? Hallelujah. Can the Holy Ghost walk with you when you go out and come in hallelujah can his feet rest in your life glory to god can he stay with you instead of being put on a shelf every now and then can he ride with you in your car hallelujah glory to god can the holy ghost rest the bible said the cloud of both there and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. This is what God want us. He want a people that's filled with the glory of God. Hallelujah. He want us to be a people that our house life, our home life is filled with the glory of God. That the glory of God fill 
closed our church services, our child, my God, today, a uh, 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 prayer life that the glory of God fills our prayer life. Feel the pulpit when the preacher is preaching. The glory of God wants to feel the benches and the pews while the saints and the hearers are sitting there hearing the sitting. When they even they're taking up the offer, the glory of God wants to be there to feel the tabernacle. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's look at verse 36. The word of the Lord says, and when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys. Now I need you to understand something for clarity. When the Bible says I was taken away, I need, despite what the enemy wants to make me, if you believe. God does not want to take his spirit from you. Glory to God. God does not want to take his anointing from you. God does not want to take his power from you. That's the reason he wants us to sanctify ourselves and deny ungodliness and deny our fleshly sins and deny my God today or uh, evil and weights that gratify God wants us to deny him so that he can rest and live with us glory to God so the Bible says watch it when the cloud was taken up this means that God was on the move my, my God today you need to remind yourself that God the Holy Ghost is here to guide us in the rest of the way of our journey. Hallelujah. And when he moves up, it's time for you to move up. When he moves on, it's time for you to move on. The Bible said the cloud I was taken up that the children of Israel went onward. Glory to God. All their journeys. Hallelujah. I want you to know that God said to tell you today to be confident. Hallelujah. And be excited and rejoice. Rejoice in knowing that everywhere you go, the Lord shall be there. Matter of fact, he's going in front of you. Hallelujah. Just take a moment and say, Lord, go ahead and go in front of me. I trust you. I trust you enough to follow. There was a songwriter that said, where he leads me, I'll follow. Huh? Glory to God. Hallelujah. You God, go before me. Hallelujah. Verse 37, but if the cloud were not taken up and they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up. And all that saying in verse 30 is that they learned how to be still. You know, I've got a problem with some prophets that, oh my God, they just prophesy, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to be Christians and and I would never speak against them. I love my brothers and sisters, and I want them to continue to flow in the things, them the way you use them. But I, I've just got a concern. Uh, they never cut off. My God, they, the Bible said when the cloud, in other words, when the Spirit of God was still, everybody else said it's time to be still because God's not moving. I've got a problem with you trying to make a shout. I've got a problem with you trying to work up a shout. Glory to God. I've got a problem what you trying to pump and prime people they they know they don't have a praise because it's not in them to praise glory to god they don't have a worship because it's not in them to worship you can't pump and prime them you've got to cause a move of the holy ghost 
Ghost. And if they open up and allow the Holy Ghost to move, when he must have moved, glory to God, he's like a mighty strong wind. Hallelujah. You ever seen the wind move? You can go on wind when it's blowing. You can't see it, but you know it's blowing because the trees are bending. They might not be breaking, but they're bending. The leaves are rattling. Come on. Glory to God. The grass are coming in the house. If the Shekinah glory of God come in the house, you don't have to get to move because of his presence. I long for the day that his presence move. Glory to God. Listen, matter of fact, as you go, you won't work so hard because the glory of God will go before you. My God, today, Jesus said he has the key of David. He'll open a door that no man can shut. He'll set that that open door before you. You won't be praying for directions anymore. You won't be groping about trying to get there because when the glory of God goes before you, hallelujah, Jesus said, I'm going to set that open door right before you, my God, today. And while you're looking, my God, you're just going on through, hallelujah. You're going on into the door. One songwriter said, while you're trying to figure it out, he's already worked it out. I'm closing. In my final verse, verse number 38 we're talking about everywhere you go hallelujah he's with you everywhere you go the lord is with you everywhere you go he's with you we're more than a conqueror when everywhere you go hallelujah where everywhere you go he said you're an overcomer by faith how everywhere you where everywhere you go glory to god he says hallelujah you're more than a match hallelujah for the adversary win everywhere you go where everywhere you go how everywhere you go glory to god hallelujah listen you my god today you are king you're queen you're a priest your priest is win everywhere you go hallelujah everywhere you be hallelujah everywhere my God today, God wants you to know that everywhere you go, hallelujah, you're that victor. So hallelujah, you're that victor. Glory to God. Everywhere you go, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, you don't need to look around you and, and see if everything Everything is perfect. You don't need to look, look around you and see if everything is put in its place. You don't have to look around you and hope, hope that everything uh, my God is in a state of uh, of. Of a plateau, a pinto, a, a, a crescendo. You you just know that everywhere where you go, the Lord God Jehovah Sh Shama, He's with with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah to make you conquerors, to make you uh, uh, victorious, to make you, my God, today an overcomer, to make you, hallelujah, successful, hallelujah. He told Joshua, he said, this book of the law, the word of God should not depart out of your mouth, but you're going to My God, today you'll meditate in the day, day and night, and, and you're going to have good success. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go. When you go home. Hallelujah. When you go to the store. Hallelujah. When you go to your job. Hallelujah. When you, hallelujah, when you go visit. Hallelujah. Glory. 
glory to God. Everywhere you go, if you decide to go out and have enjoyment, whether it's a restaurant or a movie theater, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, somebody might come in here and, Lord, I hope they don't do nothing crazy. No, everywhere you go, you need to know that God is with you. So you can cover that place in prayer and in the word. You might say, well, I'm not going to church. I'm going to the movie. Still cover the place. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over this movie theater. In the name of Jesus, I speak and declare in the atmosphere that the devil will not come in here and murder and take lies and rob and hurt and kill in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why? Because everywhere you go, God is. Hallelujah. And he's victorious there. And he wants to manifest his presence. And he wants to be glorious and glorified. He wants to be magnanimous and marvelous. Hallelujah. In the lives of people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants to save their glory to God. Hallelujah. Everything is not about church, it's about balance. Hallelujah, amen. It's not a 24-7 in the Bible and speaking in tongues and praying. But everything is about balance, but at the same time, 24-7, God is. Hallelujah. God is not like a light switch that you turn him on and off. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. I might not have a Bible in front of me, but the word of God is still in me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I might not be praying out loud, but prayer is already in me. Glory. God, hallelujah. I might not open my mouth and shout hallelujah in the movie theater, but praise to him is still in my heart. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go. Let me close. Verse number 38. It says, for the cloud of the Lord was up on the tabernacle by day. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me give you a revelation. When it says the cloud of glory was on the tabernacle by day, it means that while things are going good for you, while things are going well, for you, while you're dotting every I and crossing every T, while your foot didn't slide and your foot didn't stumble, glory to God. Why you didn't fall the pit, my God, today, you wasn't falling into the side of the pit. The snare and the trap and the gin, you, glory to God. Why you got plenty of money, hallelujah. Why you got more than enough change, you're exchanging your change for dollars, hallelujah. Everything is working like it need to be working. Your bills are paid, you've got food to eat, hallelujah. You got nice clothes to put on. Every now and then you can go buy yourself something nice, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. War glory. You're wearing the kind of shoes you want to wear. And you you women, you're wearing the kind of person, Michael Coors or whatever, Lily Rubens, whatever y'all wear. My God, you you got it. It's working. You you know, you men, you we got on our facade and I uh, uh, uh some of us got Michael Jordan tennis shoes or Nike, whatever you like. Those things are happening happening for you while it's day is daytime daytime here gonna represent my god while things are working well but i need you to know night is coming my god today i need you to know the night is coming but you don't have to be be afraid watch it because not only was the cloud On them by day, the Bible said, and fire was on by night. Glory to God. You need to know that 
the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That defense mechanism. The Bible says in Hebrew 12 and 29, our God is a consuming 